Cobra Chicas, welcome back to my channel and today we are filming a what I eat in a day on keto video. So I have been back on track guys, I was sick for a little while, uh, I still don't feel completely right to be honest with you, but I do feel better enough to eat regular foods. In the process of being sick, I did have to eat very plain and simple things like broth and scrambled eggs and vegetables, just like very plain, clean foods, which is actually good because it kind of kickstarted me back onto a, you know, healthier version of keto, I guess. Now I'm still like lazy keto because I have low carb tortillas and my Atkins dessert bars, I will never give up. But for the most part, I've been eating very clean and very good. So uh, I already had my coffee today, that's boring. I show it in every single what I eat in a day. I will occasionally insert some clips of my coffee um, on other what I eat in a days, but today's not gonna be that day. <laughs> so I already drank two cups of coffee and I actually tried something new. I threw away the packaging, but it is only at HEB and it's by the brand Cafe Olay. Man, that's going for a long time. Let me turn on this, turn off this microwave. So it was a snickernut, that's what it's called, snickernut flavor of coffee. There's no sugar or carbs in it. They just flavor it with like natural cinnamon, nutty, and vanilla flavors, I believe they said. So um, I don't really, it's, it's actually not bad because you guys know I'm a snob with my coffee and I usually like the Blonde Rose by Starbucks. It's not bad but I probably wouldn't purchase it all the time because it's a little bit too heavy on the flavor. Like the flavor is like so robust with that snickernut. It's like too much for me. But either way, I used a stevia packet and a little bit of swerve and some half and half, some heavy whipping cream and some unsweetened almond milk. Why do I use three milks in my cup of coffee? I'm just extra, okay? <laughs> and it just tastes good. It's like my own cream mixture okay so i like to put all three of those i don't measure i'm currently not measuring i'm just trying to do what feels right and just trying to do what's clean so i had two cups of those i've had two cups of water and now i'm about to have my first meal of the day it is 11 33 i'm hungry already usually i wait like lately my first meal has been between 1 p.m and 3 p.m but it is a filming day for me, so while I'm filming this video, I'm actually also gonna go film another video. And it's super exciting because it is gonna be the boob tape video. So I got sent some boob tape and I'm so excited to try it out. It's probably gonna come out before this one. Um, but that's what I'm all ready for, guys, because I don't, you know, I don't put beats like this on all the time anymore <laughs> nowadays. So my first meal of the day is going to be a burger bowl. <laughs> my fridge is all open. So I have this leftover ground beef. I have no idea. This is maybe like four ounces. I don't know, cause I just don't measure stuff. I'm gonna be adding some mayonnaise into it. Hellman's is my favorite. I'm gonna be adding some Heinz, no sugar added ketchup. We're also gonna add some mustard. I like to have a pickle on the side. These are my favorite pickles, guys. These pickles are so fresh and like crunchy and delicious. <gasps> they are so, so good. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a big fat sour pickle because I'm a Mexican girl, duh. But when it comes to sandwiches and burgers, I love these pickles. So I'm gonna have one of those on the side and it is less than one carb for one spear. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of this Mexican blend shredded cheese because I just have to use it up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here's what it looks like so far with all the ingredients I told you about. And I'm just going to add in some spinach on top to get some greens in. And yeah, this is my first meal of the day. It's very high in fat. It's very filling and very delicious. We call this a burger bowl in my home. So sometimes burger bowls don't sound good to me, but lately they have been sounding so delicious to me. So get in my belly. I just finished eating and I was still like fiending like food. I know if I wait, I'm probably full, but like, you know, right after you're just like, oh, I want more food. So I just ate like, like four four of these blackberries. I mean, one more, they're so good and fresh. So, 
Mm -mm -mm. I can never give up fruit. Like, I know I can't have apples and oranges and mangoes and stuff, pineapples, but I can never give up berries. I need them in my life. They're so good. Update, like two seconds after the blackberries, I'm also having some of this uh, zero sugar Gatorade. And this is the flavor Glacier Cherry. And yeah, I'm just gonna drink like half of this. It's got one carb for the whole bottle. Um, but yeah, I'm just thirsty and I'm not feeling like drinking water at the moment. And also this will kind of like help me feel full. Like already after a few sips, I feel the fullness coming on. So I'm glad that I didn't go and get something else. It's just kind of hard to be like mind over matter sometimes. Cause like I love eating, but like last night I got way too full and I regretted it. So that's why I'm trying to be mindful of that. Okay, I decided I'm gonna have a sandwich. So this is the bread I use. It is the Thin Slim Foods Zero Net Carb Bread in the honey. I think honey tastes better than the plain. And for one slice, it's 45 calories, two grams of fat, obviously zero carb because of the fiber, and then seven protein. And then I put some mayonnaise on, of course. I'm gonna have a slice or two of this hard salami. One carb for three slices, one slice of American cheese, which is one carb per slice. And then also this Deli Fresh Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast. This is so good, it's my favorite right now. And this is one carb per two ounces. It's about four slices. A sandwich. I can't live life without sandwiches, keto or not. And I'm gonna finish this uh, Gatorade Zero that I started earlier. So guys. It is 8.40 and I forgot to vlog the rest of my day, but after we got home from running our errands, we made dinner and I'll show you. Kardashians are playing in the background. I know this is like super messy, but we made this um, like Asian style um, steak tip type of meal and we just put it with um, cauliflower rice and that's all we have for dinner. And then for dessert, I went and tried this new um, this new flavor of Too Good. It's coconut, and I was like, oh, let's give it a try. I put some chocolate, Lily's chocolate chips in there. I didn't really like it. Like, I ate a good amount of it, but I was like, mm, yeah, that's not really my favorite flavor. So I think I'm going to have a few blackberries and call it a night. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a few more blackberries because I am, like, kind of full, but I just need, like, a different taste in my mouth. So I'm going to have that and then go to sleep. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of these, and I'll see you guys in the next one.